Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at our coordinate systems in physics and directions and also the values of these directions being positive and negative. For example, we typically are used to seeing a coordinate system where y is the vertical axis and x is the horizontal axis. Typically, we say that to the right it's positive, to the left is negative. So just let's indicate that. So to the right would be positive, to the left would be negative going up would be positive and going down would be negative. These are the conventional states of the direction and the appropriate sign according with that. Now there's exceptions to that. When we talk about fluids and fluid dynamics, typically in fluids when you go down the number is positive, when you go up the number is negative because the deeper you go in the fluid the greater the pressure, the more fluid is on top of you and so therefore they say downward is a positive direction. But that's the exception rather than the rule. The rule is according to this. So when we draw a vector in our coordinate system, and notice that the direction of the vector is this way, we'll have a x component, we'll have a y component. Since the vector is pointing to the upper right corner like that, then the x component will be positive, the y component will be positive because the x component is pointing in a positive direction, and the y component is also pointing in the positive direction. When we have a car driving along, and let's say the car is driving to the right, the velocity will be positive because it's to the direction to the right. However, if the car is slowing down such that the acceleration is minus 2 meters per second square, then the direction of acceleration will be to the left because that's the negative direction. When we drop things off a building, for example a ball, and after a certain amount of time we calculate the velocity of the ball and we say the velocity is a minus 15 meters per second because the direction of the velocity is downward we consider that a negative direction. Also notice that the acceleration will be equal to the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meters per second square but since the direction is downward we consider that to be a minus 9.8 meters per second square. So the general rule is with directions down is negative to the left is negative to the right is positive and up is positive and that is usually the case for most of everything we're going to see in physics and that's how it's done.